know the truth and we don't care whose feelings are hurt. I am disturbed this morning, Jamaica. I am so disturbed. We're going to be talking about Mr. Philip Powell and the incidences or drama surrounding him today, this morning. Yeah. So I'm sure that you all have heard it on the news and seen it circulating on social media. The idea that Mr. Powell's car went to pick up baby mama number two or side chick with the baby while he was out jogging and the woman and the baby ended up dying. Right? That must sit well with me. In my brain, like, it's not connecting. The dots are not connecting. So make a reason about this, Jamaica. Now, for the purpose of the law, a man is considered innocent until proven guilty. But still, he is not excluded from public scrutiny or criticism from the public. So make a chime in, Pani, over here, so. Mr. Powell, I think that it is convenient that at the time that your car was sent for this woman, that you were out jogging. An alibi which, which, which implies that you had no knowledge that your car was leaving your home. Allegedly. I think that considering the nature of the story, where baby, where you, where you and your current woman, the one who allegedly sent the car, Lolita, if that's her name, or whatever the relationship between y'all is, I believe that, allegedly, you and this woman plan to kill this woman and the picnic. I say, look, me I tell you the truth, I say it really, look. I'm not even going to beat you on no bush, brother. If my baby father is questioning the paternity of my child, him and him woman, or him wife, or whoever Lolita is, if they are questioning the paternity of my child, I am not just going to get into your car when it pulls up at my home unannounced. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Every baby mother knows that when the paternity of the of the father of the child, if the father questions the paternity of the child, you become defensive. And those defense mechanisms prevent us from doing many things. Getting into that car is one of those things. Yeah, man. So for her to get into that car, Mr. Paulwell, allegedly, there had to have been some communication from your part, whether via text, WhatsApp, email, call, anything. There had to have been some communication indicating to this woman that your car is coming or you are coming at X time, be ready. Or whatever um, normally happens when you guys meet up. Mind you, you were out jogging, so you were the one driving the car, right? It's a driver. So for her to get in the car, clearly, this is something that would have happened on a regular basis. That a driver would set, that he would send for her, um, his car for her, with a, using a driver. And she would get in, get in. So, sir, allegedly, communication was done to say, yes, may I come pick you up, baby? You are my baby. Yes, sir. Communication was done. The fact that you are out jogging, this, this supposed alibi that you are creating. Police must ask you who's your old party jogging. Police must ask you if this jogging morning or whatever time you were out jogging, if this is a part of your regular routine. Is it something you started doing two weeks ago, a month ago? Just this week? Because of health purposes? What was the reason? And I know that for the purpose of your defense, at some point, allegedly, you might argue that Lolita got access to some phone or email or some way how to communicate to the baby mother who was born with the baby and, and notify her that the car was coming. But sir, allegedly, may I tell a friend now? That is a defense mechanism, sir. That is a defense storyline, in my opinion. You know what is disturbing? Oh, 
how do you find it okay to murder a baby? That is what disturbed me now. And I hope that this morning, that those of you who are involved are in jail, waiting to go to court and serve up your sentences. You guys should not be given bail. You should be treated as the average Jamaican individual. This is some criminal intent crime scene. This is some real deep criminal intent. Like this is something that was planned out, in my opinion. Planned out allegedly by Mr. Powell and the woman to get rid of this woman and the baby. But I still don't understand the motive for the murder. I mean, outside of the fact that you don't want this new child to um, create a scandal in your life um, with the new with the, with with elections coming up and um, with already the problems in your party and so on, like you probably don't want to create any more problems in the atmosphere. But even so, a baby is innocent. Maybe the baby is seen as the new baby is seen as disrespectful to your woman or your wife or whoever. I don't know. But you say either way, the baby is innocent. And I just believe that it is convenient how you were out jogging and then telling Jamaica you were out jogging and expect us to believe. And even if you were out jogging, it is too convenient. We still want to know who said it a job. If it's a part of your normal routine to job. When you got back, is it when you get back, how is your house set up? Would you have noticed that the car is gone? And when you notice that the car is gone, did you ask the woman, Lolita, whatever her name is, where was the car when you saw that she wasn't the one driving it or that she was still there in the house? These are the questions that you want to have in your heart. You can ask you, no brother. Then I want them to say, oh, jogging, you bring yourself one? Did you bring yourself one? Was there any electronic device that they can pin your phone or your device to some cell tower? Because concern the fact that you are made of such delicate data. Then I would assume, I'm a businessman of such delicate nature, that I would assume that you would have some form of communication device on your person, which means that you can be pinged to different cell towers to show where you were last at. at. I don't feel that you are innocent. Again, for the purpose of the law, a man is innocent until proven guilty. There are many reasons why they could want to dash away this baby. News now, Tashina Pattison and Soraya Paulwell, both of them, them burn up so bad that they are unrecognizable to know that their samples has been sent overseas for help. Listen to this report, my people. So forward. I do know that the police investigators are resolved really on our VIC advice. It has been sought to make sure that no stone is left unturned in respect of making sure that every opportunity is taken to dot every I and cross every T in this investigation. That was the Director of Public Prosecutions, Paula Llewellyn. All right. This is so sad. So, so sad. But I know everybody knows Tashina, um, Tashina Pattison and Saraya Palwell, right, is the daughter and baby mother of Philip Palwell. You get what I say? No. It is so bad for them that it, they, is, they are now trying to be certain. See? They are unrecognizable. So much so that their samples has to now be sent overseas for help very very sad all right let's go now cdc ask for forensic help in the situation of Paulwell's youth and her mother tashina zine now let's get into the main stories my people now local investigators are turning to their international counterparts in the united states for help in the probe of 
the situation of Soraya Paulwell and her mom, Tashina Pattison. Now, the source, which is Nationwide News, understands that the DNA sample of Tashina and Soraya were found in the hills of East Kingston on Friday, have been sent to the center, which is the CDC in the U.S., to conclusively determine if they match those of Soraya and Tashina. The police made sure that they are approaching this cautiously. Yes, well, as you heard, the director of public prosecution saying that they are trying to cross all the T's and dot all the I's, and that is what the Jamaica Constabulary Force said also. They understand. So they are taking all the necessary precautions. Z, no, don't get it wrong. The DNA was already done locally. They are just making sure. All right. No, Saraya is the daughter of Member of Parliament for East Kingston and Port Royal, Philip Palwell. Our sources says DNA testing locally was done already. However, the quality of the DNA extracted from Saraya and Tashina were so degraded, Martin Alyssa Keeley, were so degraded and minute due to the intensity of the heat fueled by gasoline to burn them up that local technology was unable to conclusively determine the identities so i guess the people them use and if the jamaica constabulary force were not hasty right they probably wouldn't even find nothing at all they are saying that it is so burnt so degraded it is so minute that our local equipment, technology, and resources at Jamaica can do the work. They cannot conclusively determine the identities of Saraya and Tashina Pattison. Now, we're being told that the samples were sent overseas on Sunday. Now, the question was put to the Director of Public Prosecutions, Paul Llewellyn, which you heard a while ago. Now, when pressed, the DPP said that the police have been acting on her office's advice in ensuring the evidence in the case that meets the robust standards. I wonder if you know. Listen, my man. I'm telling you something, my people. You see that woman here? The alleged accused. That woman here, wicked. You hear me? I tell you, no? Wicked, wicked, wicked. And you see the man where the voice no leak made allegations against where do the work and because she sent contractor number two for you him should have burned you in your foot you never know because the voice note says based on allegations that you and i had some form of disagreement or confrontation and you decide say you are going to confess to our one which me go put more emphasis upon tomorrow by the blessing of god all right so stay tuned for that my people share the video remember read back over it so it can sink in for now. remember remember how old saraya is and how old the mother is i'm not in a lie my people me go say this even though even though philip Paulwell is not a suspect brother me can tell you this me a big man open up my 20s me can tell you this you a big man from a barn you a big man from a barn you you need to take responsibilities for your actions sir meaning set an example at your age look at age go with your age of your priorities them together you get me i say you are a figurehead no you see based on all the crosses we may see with the pnp all the man today we get charged with the big r on another chance to win the election you know? and this is just off topic a bit there is so many things that are jumping up so many allegations so many situations so many crosses you are smearing the image and i'm not speaking of anybody per se but i'm just going to know say all of them something yeah it is reflecting badly on the people's national party and their their aim to secure the next general election and this is why the PNP always lose because only choose for do the wrong thing at the wrong time. Remember, I'm telling you. But as a big man, my general, no disrespect. And if you get a situation in order, big man thing, I can't out your flex like you're a young boy. Yeah, me understand, say, so you have your food, my G. But this could have been avoided. 
Yeah, me I tell you straight. Your carelessness caused Saraya Paulwell and Tashina Pattison. And if you not cause it, it contribute to it. And I am talking about your actions of immaturity straight. Remember me telling you that. I'm going to read it back again. The DNA from Saraya Paulwell and Tashina Pattison were so degraded and minute due to the intensity of heat fueled by the gasoline, right? To do what it did, that the technology was unable to conclusively determine their identities. Here, now, watch this again. Paula Llewellyn was the person now who says that, you know, Speaking on nationwide news, the police have arrested four in connection to what is being said, and it is being treated as such in investigation with the potential charges of conspiracy to drop in. The prime suspect is, of course, the accused. People are asking me, I say, Yo, who names such and such and who names such and such? So, all right, then, I'm not going to give her the name, I'm going to say the accused. And she also have a youth for Minister Parwell, MP Parwell. Yes, yeah, so I may say I'm sorry if you see me jump out of character, my people, but this is disgusting, spooky, and wrong in many so much ways. Anyway, we have more to come see you when you start a prayer Tuesday. Share the video, like the video, my people, all right? Zine? No. I'm going to ask another question here. Do you blame Philip Parwell in some ways for this happening? I can ask you a question. Do you blame Philip Paulwell in some ways for this tragedy happening? Tell the truth and we don't care whose feelings are hurt. I am disturbed this morning, Jamaica. I am so disturbed. We're going to be talking about Mr. Philip Paulwell and the incidences or dramas surrounding him today, this morning, yeah. So I'm sure that you all have heard it on the news, I've seen it circulating on social media. The idea that Mr. Powell's car went to pick up baby mama number two, our side chick, with the baby, while he was out jogging, and the woman and the baby ended up dying. Right? That must sit well with me. In my brain, like, it's not connecting. The dots are not connecting. So make a reason about this, Jamaica. Now, for the purpose of the law, a man is considered innocent until proven guilty. But still, he's not excluded from public scrutiny or criticism from the public. So make a time in Pani over here, so. Mr. Powell, I think that it is convenient that at the time that your car was sent for this woman, that you were out jogging. An alibi which 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 implies that you had no knowledge that your car was leaving your home. Allegedly. I think that considering the nature of the story, where baby, where you where you and your current woman, the one who allegedly sent the car, Lolita, if that's her name, or whatever the relationship between y'all is. I believe that, allegedly, you are this one plans to kill this man and the picnic. I say, look, me I tell you the truth, I say it really, look. I'm not even a beat around now, Bush, brother. If my baby father is questioning the paternity of my child, him and him woman, or him wife, or whoever Lolita is, if they are questioning the paternity of my child, I am not just going to get into your car when it pulls up at my home unannounced. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Every baby mother knows that when the paternity of the of the father of the child, if the father questions the paternity of the child, you become defensive. And those defense mechanisms prevent us from doing many things. Getting into that car is one of those things. Yeah, man. So for her to get into that car, Mr. Paulwell, allegedly, there had to have been some communication from your part, whether via text, WhatsApp, email, call, anything. There had to have been some communication indicating to this woman that your car is coming or you are coming at X time, be ready. Or whatever um, normally happens when you guys meet up. Mind you, 
you were out jogging, so you weren't the one driving the car, right? It's a driver. So for her to get in the car, clearly, this is something that would have happened on a regular basis, that a driver would send, that he would send for her, um, his car for her, with a, using a driver, and she would get in, get in. So, sir, allegedly, communication was done to say, yes, may I come pick you up, baby? You are my baby. Yes, sir. Communication was done. The fact that you are out jogging, this, this supposed alibi that you are creating, police must ask you who's your old by jogging. Police must ask you if this jogging man in our whatever time you were out jogging, if this is a part of your regular routine. Is it something you started doing two weeks ago, a month ago? Just this week? Because of health purposes? What was the reason? And I know that for the purpose of your defense, at some point, allegedly, you might argue that Lolita got access to some phone or email or some way how to communicate to the baby mother who was born with the baby and, and notify her that the car was coming. But sir, allegedly, may I tell her now? That is a defense mechanism, sir. That is a defense storyline, in my opinion. You know what is disturbing? Oh, do you find it okay to murder a baby? That is what disturbed me, you know. And I hope that this morning, that those of you who are involved are in jail, waiting to go to court and serve up your sentences. You guys should not be given bail. You should be treated as the average Jamaican individual. This is some criminal intent crime scene. This is some real deep criminal intent. Like this is something that was planned out, in my opinion. Planned out allegedly by Mr. Powell and the woman to get rid of this woman and the baby. But I still don't understand the motive for the murder. I mean, outside of the fact that you don't want this new child to um, create a scandal in your life um, with the new with, the, with with elections coming up and um, with already the problems in your party and so on, like you probably don't want to create any more problems in the atmosphere. But even so, a baby is innocent. Maybe the baby is seen as the new baby is seen as disrespectful to your man or your wife or whoever. I don't know. But you just say either way, the baby is innocent. And I just believe that it is convenient how you were out jogging and then telling Jamaica you were out jogging and expect us to believe. And even if you were out jogging, it is too convenient. We still want to know who said in a job. If it's a part of your normal routine to job. When you got back, is it when you get back, how is your house set up? Would you have noticed that the car is gone? And when you notice that the car gone, did you ask the woman Lolita, whatever her name is, where was the car when you saw that she wasn't the one driving it or that she was still there in the house? These are the questions that we want to have in our seat to ask you, brother. They I want them to say, oh, jogging, you bring your cell phone? Did you bring your cell phone? Was there any electronic device that they can pin your phone or your device to some cell tower? Because consider the fact that you are a minister of such delicate nature, then I would assume, I'm a businessman of such delicate nature, that I would assume that you would have some form of communication device on your person, which means that you can be pinged to different cell towers. To show where you were last at, at. I don't feel that you are innocent. Again, for the purpose of the law, a man is innocent until proven guilty. There are many reasons why they could want to dash away this baby.